To write the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus KCl, that's silver nitrate plus potassium chloride, we'll use these rules here. So the first rule is to write the balanced molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced, so we don't have to do anything for the first rule. Already there. The second rule, though, is we need to write the states. So when we look at this, we have AgNO3. That's going to be soluble. Nitrates are, in general, they're soluble. So we'll put aqueous after that. That'll be dissolved in water. And then chlorides, those are also normally soluble, especially with a group 1 element. Put an AQ after that. So both of those are dissolved in water. On the product side, AgCl, this is kind of a tricky one. We really should look this up on a solubility table to make sure we know what's going on. So here's a solubility table. And if we look at this, we can find silver right here. And we'll go across, we're looking for silver chloride. So the chlorides, they come down here. Here's silver chloride. We see this I here. It's insoluble. In fact, all of these chlorides, they're soluble. But silver chloride is insoluble. That means it won't dissolve in water. In fact, when this reaction happens and it creates the silver chloride, it is a solid. It'll fall to the bottom like a precipitate. So we're going to put a S after that to show that it's insoluble, that it's a solid. While we have our table here, let's look at potassium nitrate. If we come down the positive ions, here's potassium and then nitrate right here. So we go down where they line up. We see that S, that's soluble. It'll dissolve, so we write AQ after it. So those are the states. Next, we're going to split the soluble compounds, only the soluble compounds, into the ions. This will be our complete ionic equation. So let's pull over the periodic table here and take a look. So silver, it's a transition metal, but it's kind of an odd one. It's always plus one. So here's silver. That's going to be a charge of one plus, say one plus for ions. Nitrate, we don't have that here. We can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Nitrate is going to have a one minus ionic charge. So if you don't know the nitrate, that's probably a good one to memorize. Potassium here in group one, that's got the one plus. The chloride ion, Cl, over here, that's got the minus charge. And then we know we said this was plus, minus, plus, and then the nitrate is minus. So we have our charges, and that's going to allow us to split this up into its ions. So let's do that. We got silver, Ag plus, and I won't write aqueous after each one. We'll do that at the end. Plus the nitrate ion, plus the potassium ion, and then the chloride ion. Let's shrink this down a little bit. And then on the products, we have Ag plus. But wait, it's a solid, so we can't write that. Because this is a solid, it's not soluble. And we said we're going to split the soluble compounds. So we won't split this solid up. We're going to leave it AgCl. And in fact, it's sitting right there at the bottom of the test tube, a solid. It's not broken up. And then we do have our soluble K plus plus the nitrate NO3 minus. Shrink that down a little bit too. So now we have our complete ionic equation. All the soluble compounds, they're split up into their ions, and then the insoluble we left as they were. We'll now cross out what's called the spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. For example, NO3 minus here, NO3 minus here. Cross those out. Those are spectator ions. K plus, K plus, we can cross those out. The Ag plus, that's bonded, so that's different. And the Cl minus, that's, again, that's bonded to the Ag. So this is a different compound. So we're left with what's called a net ionic equation. And let's write that out. It'll look like this. And this is the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus KCl, silver nitrate plus potassium chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.